Hi everyone, I'm Louise Scammell and I'm a printmaker based at Art House South Brent. Today we're going to print some chine collé on some plates and I'm hoping it's going to go okay because I've only got one chance to do this with you today because I've just prepared two plates ready. And I wanted to just show you the process um, that, you, that I'm going to print your plates with. So I told you to prepare, um, do a sketch or a painting of what you wanted um, your print to look like when you add the colour and then um, we'll go from the stage of having your plain print to having some colour on it. So hopefully you'll have cut out some pieces of paper and I did mention on the sheets there to cut out some reasonably good sized bits of paper and what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to glue your bits of paper and I mentioned using um, a particular glue. Now this is a wheat starch paste, which is already prepared. And um, there are different glues you can use, but this is the one that I've found that works best. This is then applied to the back. That's, that's a painting I've done. Actually, I, I decided I wanted to do something a bit different on this one. And I've painted some loose shapes on there um, because I talked about um, putting some silver on this one before and this is a plain print here and the silver bits were very fiddly so I thought why don't I do a piece the same size as the print and just paint some marks on it and I really liked the way that these came out quite um, almost like bits of paper rather than painted marks I thought it worked really well so I'm going to show you how I've done that so that's been painted on there um, with acrylic paint it's been glued on the back and now it's ready for printing. So we'll go over to the press. And on here we've got some bits of paper that have been cut out. Now you can see they curl up. But what I've got here is a damp blotter. And this, if I push these bits of paper down onto it, these have already been lying on here. They've flattened out nicely because they're just very slightly damp. It's a little trick I found that worked. And I'm going to place these pieces onto my plate. So I've got it all worked out where they're going and um, because it's fairly loose on here I'm just going to go for it. As I say it might all go horribly wrong. Keep fingers crossed. And this one is going to lay on here. This is the fiddly bit um, and I'm just going to flatten this other bit out because it was a bit crinkly. So I'm going to press it into the damp blotted paper here, which I've sprayed up with, with damp. I'm actually going to spray a little bit more water on there, just, just to flatten that, if you can see that. It's fairly resilient, actually, this paper. It's pretty good. And then I'm going to place this down on here. Now this is placed down, glue side up, because the glue is going to attach to the paper. So now, before everything crinkles, just make sure this paper's the right way around. I'm just going to match it onto there. Lay that on there. Now at this stage, it's quite important um, not to have any paper that's doubled over so I'm just checking that looks okay and let's just have a look at this one yeah you can see it's a little bit fiddly this and I've just got that bit that's doubled over there so I'm just trying to flatten that out and just check the other side this is the bit you'll be doing at the workshop eventually um, it's easier probably than I'm making it look here <laughs> right so I'm just gonna hold that down the blanket. Hoping I've got the right pressure on here at the moment. I'll soon know. Yep. I'm going to take that through. Another one. And then actually I'm going to come back because it makes it easier <laughs> for our cameraman. Here we are. So let's have a look and see what we've got. <gasps> Exciting. Let's do the fish one first. There we are. Uh, this was actually that slightly yellow paper that I've given you, and that's come out rather nicely actually. 
Now let's do the other one. Yeah. Place those down. So there we are. Chine collet on a dry point. Bye for now.